tutti talk sense, y'all. And life been out here life, and okay, so come on, y'all, let's discuss. TGI Friday drama, you know, the, the show was canceled, right? So let's go on back to the beginning. The show started off as Claudia Jordan, Al Reynolds, and Funky Dineva. Funky ended up leaving, I want to say four years later. They brought in different hosts to try to see who would be the best friend. Among Wiggins ended up being the permanent replacement. Then from there, um, you know, they, they always do birthday work. Rose, Al Reynolds birthday rolled around. Amon Wiggins did a birthday roast. Al doing the taping was like, oh, okay, that's funny. But people started saying that it was uh, very personal and unprofessional. I feel like a roast is a roast, and that's what happens. Now, Al didn't call Funky Dineva while he was live. And Funky Dine even told him, I'm live. And he was like, oh, the bullshit, watch this show. It was bullshit. And I'm like, when I seen that, I was like, Al, to me, is phony. Because he's going to act like he didn't hear Funky say he was live. But when Funky said, you're live, he was like, I don't need, I don't give a fuck. People need to hear it. But then going to go in and try to be like, oh, but he didn't know he was, you know what I'm saying? As if... I think it was done purposely. Okay. So no, I'm, I'm, I'm you, need to hear this. you need to hear this on live. Hold on. This, you are people this, can hear you. I don't give a fuck. When I tell you go back and watch TGIF tonight. What happened? Go back. Um now, since that happened, the show was already scheduled to go on a little, a little vacation. And they end up going on a hot hiatus. That's what they said to see, you know, if the show was going to continue. It eventually ended up being canceled. So Claudia Jordan, since then, have went on Carlos King uh, YouTube channel and did an interview. And also, um, you know, Amon on his channel have said some things about what what happened to me. I said in my previous video, to me, Al seemed like he's the problem. Seems like he's very, he was sensitive to people saying stuff about him, but wasn't sensitive when he said he was one of the ones who dish it but can't take it type of thing. And that was part of what Armand Rose was saying. So everybody now is talking about that Funky Dineva have went on Carlos King show and have did an interview and have addressed what he knows about it. And, of course, he addressed his part of coming um, while he left TGI Friday. Now, he said he left TGI Friday over um, like $250, which it seems like if you do the math, it would be $250 an episode, which is uh, five episodes a week, and it ended up being $60,000 a year. So, he said they initially was getting... Uh, twelve fifty an episode, but then when they end up going to five days a week, they drop them down to a thousand dollars a episode. He just wanted to get back to twelve fifty, so he just wanted to get back to the two fifty, the twelve fifty. But they didn't agree with that, so he said at least put me on the company uh, health insurance. And they didn't agree with that, so that's why he ended up parting ways. Then next he goes into what happened with the Armand and Al situation. To me, Funky was biased as far as he's closer to Al. Because the way he answered certain questions. For instance, she, he said, um, Carlos asked him something about, you know, he heard that Al was uh, being pretty much a diva. Like behind the scenes. Al said he don't know nothing about that. It wasn't like that when he was there. Then he said. Now if you go back to Claudia interview. The reason why Carlos King asked that. Is because Claudia pretty much said. That Al was being. Um, 
being messy. He was always going behind the scenes complaining and complaining to the producers and things like that. Funky said that while he was there, none of them like the producers. So he wasn't doing that while he was there. Now, to me, I'm like, he don't account for, because if you go to Claudia interview, she even talks about how producers was replaced. So while maybe while he was there, there was a different producer. Mind you, is that rumor that Al and this other producer had a relationship. So Claudia talks about how she, when she first did the show, how she first created the show, she had um, some type of control over the show. They brought new people in. She no longer did. did. Now, that could be the point that Funky left. So he wouldn't know. He would only know what Al is telling him. I don't know if Claudia talks to him like that or whatever, but he would only know what Al is telling him. So it makes more sense to me what Claudia is saying makes more sense on the timeline. Because if your accent funky about, oh, well, uh, this is the rumor. And if, Cla if Carlos is saying that, that this is the rumor... Claudia was already on his show interviewed and said her piece. If this is a rumor that he heard, I'm assuming he heard it from more than just Claudia. And from the way, like I said, if y'all go back and watch my previous video, I was like, just from the way that Al behaved to Dr. Heavenly, who was just telling her how she viewed her relationships and how she wouldn't want a man who I think didn't work or something. It was something with a man about money. And he got so upset in that whole interaction back and forth. And he was so that she could never, he said she could never come back on that show long as he's there type of thing. And I was like, okay, that was, you know, I said that's a, uh, you're taking things real personal. Then with the, uh, who else he got upset with? I can't remember right now, but go watch my video, y'all. I, I go more into details on that one. So, I'm like, ah, I feel like this is an Al thing. And Funky is pretty much biased. Because, um, as I was saying, he, when he goes and he says, um, well, I never seen that part of Al. Which could be absolutely, absolutely true. But we also have to account for, he also said he wasn't there afterwards. And he don't know what happened afterwards. So when he was there, they didn't like the producers. So he, he didn't see Al doing that because none of them liked the producers. So you don't know what happened once they brought new producers in. And if Al was cool with those producers, you don't know if he was going back creating tr drama and being a whole diva. Because Al's whole attitude, when um, Al began to come, become more, I would maybe say confident. I don't know if you want to call it... Uh, uppity nose in the air call it whatever you want because funky said when he was there al was the uh pretty much insecure about his position and about his role in the show watch the show al became more of combative especially towards claudia it seems like but even the like i said the dr heavenly situation even that situation al became more combative there was no I'm insecure about my position. It's, uh, this is my position. I'm right. You don't like it. You don't agree with me. You can't get back on this show. So there probably was a different hour when Funky was there than when Funky left. Because also remember that um, there was a whole thing of uh, Al steady calling Armand boy. And if you notice, he didn't do that to Funky. Funky was younger than him. Uh, Armand is a, a lot younger, but Armand is what, 30s? And Al is, I'm assuming, maybe in his 50s. And I want to say Funky was in his 40s. So, yeah, Funky was younger than him too, but he didn't boy him. And then uh, Funky said something along the lines of um, he believed that Armand Wiggins had a battery put in his back. Armand had already addressed this and had said that he did not. And Funky said he believed that because he knew things. The roast was about things that was going on when Armand wasn't even there. 
And I went back and watched the roast because I'm like, I don't remember that. I don't remember him saying things, spilling information that he could have no idea about. Because a battery was put in his back. That that these are my thoughts. Can't prove it. Don't know for a fact. I thought a battery was put in his back. I thought it was deeply personal. I thought it was extremely unprofessional. I thought it was completely un. I thought it was gross. I thought it was gross. And the reason why I thought it was gross is because obviously ha in having had work there, a lot of the things that he was saying, he had not even been there long enough to experience or even know what the fuck he was talking about, okay? And it, it's just the, 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 the things that were coming out of his mouth had trappings of somebody gave him this information. He simply had not been there long enough. And going back to our earlier conversation when I was talking about the maturity piece, that, that, that's the thing right there. Because he wasn't there at that time. So I went back and watched it and I'm like, no, he didn't. Everything that he said in that roast could have happened while he was there. He said that Al was going, Al was trying to destroy the show, Al going back being messy, Al don't want nobody talking about his, um, his wife, even though he talk about it all day. Al was doing that doing, while Amon was there. I didn't see any information that he had that he could have came upon while he wasn't there. Now Today we're celebrating our very own Al Reynolds' birthday. Al, you're a man of many talents, some of which include being messy, causing drama, and having a knack for making our workplace feel like a reality TV show. Al's Ooh. got a unique ability to smile in your face, snap a picture, and go behind your back and talk about your co talk about you to your coworker that he say that he claims he hates. It's like he's got a PhD in two faced it. Study, okay. Uh -huh. Due to our uh -huh. special relationship with management and his hypersensitivity, we are not allowed to talk about his failed marriage. So even Ooh. though he's brought it up many times, I'll steer clear of that topic to keep my job. Wait! Now, but, now, but wait, there's more. Al fancies himself as the facts guy, but somehow he never seems to get the actual facts right. He Ooh. also he's also a talk show host who's supposed to have all the strong opinion, but the guy can't form a thought without his notes. Oh. Very simply, I've seen grocery store lists with more spontaneous insight. And let's not forget his legendary struggle with names and words. Al, it's successful, not successful. It's like watching a toddler trying to pronounce spaghetti. Oh, uh -huh. and how could I forget Al's clout chasing antics? He's got all these celebrities friends, but the best part, none of these celebrities actually know they're supposed to be friends Shit. with him. Ooh. As, as if that wasn't <laughs> enough. Al is currently on a mission to get our talk show canceled. His Whoa. Child is slightly jealous attitude is working overtime. Baby. Child is slightly jealous attitude is working overtime to torpedo our show. It's like he's auditioning for a soap opera villain role. But despite but despite all the chaos, let's not forget it's your <laughs> birthday, Al. Okay? <laughs> so here's to you. May your future be as drama free as your past has been drama filled. A bitch. Happy birthday, Al. That, that was, was a roast. That was ratchet, and I enjoyed every second of it. Thank you, Amon. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, there was one part of the roast where he was like, "You talk about coworkers even though you're not supposed to like them." I said, "Unless Funky is thinking, he's talking about because Funky says in that interview how there was an instance where Claudia Jordan had uh, screenshots of Al talking about her to Nene Links." leaks so i don't know who sent her the strain shots but she ended up getting them showing them to funky so i don't remember if it was armand or claudia but it was said that pretty much that al was coming back telling him that you know claudia didn't like him or claudia said this claudia said that about him and then he would you know and then he would put on to armand as if he didn't like claudia but when armand and claudia end up talking it was finding out that Al was pretty much lying about what he was saying. And I'm assuming, I don't know if Claudia showed him the text messages or whatever between her and Al, but Armand found out that he was lying about how Claudia felt about him, and that's how Claudia and Armand end up getting closer. Now, I want, I want to say this was in Claudia interview. i see if I can find it, and I'll drop it down up in here. Conversations that were kind of keeping us... Um, from even speaking to each other, like, you know, he didn't pick up the phone when I call him because he, yeah, he was told not to by someone. And um, 
while you guys were working or after yeah, the Yeah, like I was trying to call, no, way before the roast. Like I would try to call him and be like, all right, that was a weird episode. Let me try to call him and figure this out. And he wouldn't pick up. So I'm like, how are we ever going to get a chemistry together? But later on, I found out that there was a reason he wasn't picking up. He was told not to by someone. And that just kept us at odds. And it made like the show like this. And it was them against, it was Alan and Armand kind of against me, it felt like. And it just, just didn't feel good. And all it took was a phone call where we finally got on the phone to talk. And like, wait, I was told this. Well, I was told that. Oh, that's not true. Oh, that's not true either. And then once we figured it all out, and I can't really say that much about that mm -hmm. because we're still trying to save this thing here. Mm -hmm. But, you know, people are smart. Um, we actually started working on a relationship. And we had much better on camera chemistry. And, like, he just came to support a roast I was in. And he's like, mm -hmm. I'm so glad we're in this place now because it was, like, uncomfortable. And it was uncomfortable for me, too. And I want this show to be, it at least appear to be three friends or three people that like talking to each other. And, like, I can't wait to hear what you got to say. So... When he said that piece in the roast about talking about co-workers and acting like you don't like them, I don't believe he's talking about the Claudia and Al, uh, Sean talking about, with well, Al talking about Claudia through the through text message with Nene Lynx and Claudia saying the screenshots. I believe he's talking about his own situation. So this, this narrative that, oh, well, Claudia gassed him up. First of all, they want to say she gassed up Lunell. Lunell did a separate interview on, on the same on Vlad TV. And she was like, Claudia did not gas me up. If I'm a talk show host, you know what I'm saying? And I, she said, I've been wanting to ask Al this, this question. Because she have been in circles, you know. Lunell been in business forever. So she was around when the Star Jones stuff happened. And that was made, you know, news back in the day. So she been wanting to ask that question. So she said she had the opportunity to ask it, so she asked it. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> so, I'm sorry, I mean, okay, so that's the, the Lunel part that people are was saying that. Then the, uh, my mom bit said, nobody put a battery in my back. It was a roast. Go back and watch the roast or go back and watch my video. Where this roast was happening, I want to say even when Funky was there. Everybody would get roasted on their birthday. Then I went back and watched the uh, actual roast because everybody was just clipping the roast. So if you watch before they uh, went to the to the roast segment, they was always, always they had Armand Wiggins and he had gave praises to Al. Yes. And um, we want to acknowledge the fantastic qualities that make you well. So first off, you're incredibly smart and hardworking. Juggling multiple jobs is no easy feat, okay? You, yet you handle it with such grace and dedication. Your work ethic is truly inspiration to us all. You also have been impeccable. You have an impeccable sense of style, always dressed to impress. You set the bar high for fashion and grooming, Al. You do. <laughs> Seriously. You. Um, you could give GQ models a run for their money. <laughs> um, on top of all of that, you have an amazing sense of humor. Your laugh is absolutely contagious, and you always know how to lighten up the mood. It's a real joy to be around you because you bring so much fun and positivity wherever you go. So here's to you, Al. May your birthday be filled with joy, laughter, and all the things that make your life wonderful. Happy birthday. Aww. So they, everybody's just like this roasting and tore it down. But he also had said very nice things about Al before the roast. And I don't know what roast y'all y'all watch, but roasts get very personal and cut deep. So if you know you were sensitive to that, then you should have told them to skip you for the roast. Or to not do the roast. And Funky said the roast was disgusting. And I'm looking like, it was a roast. But I mean, everybody is, is entitled to their opinion. And uh, let's see, what else did he talk about in there? Yeah, he talked about his life and different things like that. But um, I'm just want to commentate on this whole what's tied into this TGI uh, Friday situation. Did they expect Armand to roast Al about when when there's a roast? They him and Claudia because people don't because uh, Claudia did her roast before Armand did his. Happy birthday, Al Reynolds, the man, man who, if name dropping was a class at Bowie State University. You'd be valedictorian. Yes. Al Reynolds, the man if the rich male celebrity butt kissing was a sport, 
he be a world record butt holder. kissing. Yes. So the man whose tolerance for alcohol is almost as high as that new booty. And don't <laughs> yes, yes. Al Reynolds gay because he is truly a bisexual man, and you will respect that. Bisexual yes. spelled B U Y sexual. Oh you know, Jesus! It's not all shade in this roast. Al Reynolds is one of the hardest working men in America. He keeps a job. And much like his many relationships with women, allegedly plentiful, but there's no real witnesses to verify any of them. Anyway, <laughs> seriously, Al, I, I really cannot imagine how different this show would be without you and without hearing your unique way of pronouncing words like woman and brutality. Happy birthday to the black version of Evic Man, who's successfully making six videos by being a laugh track to our show. Happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> So him and Claudia both talk about the way he can say he say woman, uh, certain words that he say that they that Funky and, and and Claudia used to mess with Al about, and so this is a known thing. And him having the papers with, with his facts or whatever that's that's the thing. So what else? What else did y'all want for Armand to worse Al about if it wasn't personal and if it wasn't fun? He's known for cutting deep. That's what he's known for. And y'all, what you want him roasting about? His clothes, his glasses, like, roasts get personal and they cut deep. If you can't take the, the heat, get the fuck out the kitchen. Don't, don't be, don't be a part of it. So, to me, my, my whole, uh, to me, the whole thing now. Armand dropped a video with his reaction towards the interview. It's three hours. I haven't watched it. I'm finna go watch that, y'all, and then maybe I'll come back with a with commentary on what Armand said. But for me, I feel like Funky Funky opinion or view about the situation and what happened is biased and it's one sided. Because it's more leaning towards Al's side. Because he's, you know, he says he's friends with Al. He said he don't, they don't talk every day or whatever. They, you know, they go weeks without talking. But he would like for them to get closer, blah, blah, blah. It seems like he's more um, leaning towards Al's side. Just for the simple fact that when, if you don't know what happened afterwards, how can you then say that, you feel like that this is Armand's fault, that Armand had a battery put in his back, that Armand was talking about stuff that didn't, that he didn't know about. So how can you say that if you wasn't in, if you wasn't there to know his experience that he had with Al? Because Al, the Al you experienced and the Al he experienced could be two different people. So how are we jumping to this conclusion that he had a battery put in his back when it seems like the roast was about things that happened while he was at the show and if Al agreed to the roast then what's the what, what, what did you expect for it to happen did you expect like an actual roast with potatoes and carrots like this, this is a roast man. it gets deep if I know I'm sensitive, I'm like, mm -mm, no, thank you. And then Al is a, a Jimmy now. I said, uh-uh, you make us all look bad. Because Al in, because I always thought Al was a cancer, because he do act so doggone sensitive. But I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, Al and Armand are Geminis. And I'm, and we usually like, I tell you, <laughs> I can handle a joke. Most things that ain't funny, I'd be like, that's funny as hell. <laughs> He like you need to stop laughing at everything. Take something serious. He yelling at me and all upset. And I'm looking like, ooh, child, calm down. It's not that serious. Stuff happened in my life that been bad, and I'm like, that's funny. That's funny. But <laughs> I was very sensitive. I said maybe he's on more. Maybe he'll late June. I don't know. Maybe he'll late June. Jimmy now, where well, he got some of that cancer sprinkled all up on him because uh, you more sensitive to any Jimmy and I, I know. But y'all, what did y'all think about the interview? Did y'all think that um, that Funky was biased, 
Well, you think that Funky, y'all don't have to agree with me and Funky. If y'all think Funky was telling the truth, go ahead, drop in the comments. Y'all think that, that Claudia put a battery in his back and that our mom was talking about things that he knew nothing about. He was not talking about things he experienced with Al. He was talking about things that Claudia told him. That's the narrative it seems like Funky was leaning towards. So y'all go ahead, drop in the comments and, and tell me what you think. Because I feel like our mom was talking about things that he experienced with Al. And that's what the roast was about. Nothing about stuff that, that Claudia told him. And I don't think that Claudia sent him off to do, to do the roast. So, y'all, well, if I watch this interview and maybe I'll be back to give my commentary about that. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on all social media, Facebook, X, Fanbase, Instagram. And I've been on